Easy now. Not in the habit of murdering priests in need. No priest! I'm a deacon! Just two months out of seminary, on my first mission. It, it wouldn't be right to kill a deacon on his first mission. Oh my, your eyes! Yellow and those pupils. I have read about this! You're a witcher! Well, clearly no feral cat or grass snake, so... In point of fact, a grass snake's pupils are circular, not slitted. But never mind that. Please help me. If they breach the gate, a pestilence will be upon us. Desperate times call for a witcher, huh? Thought your church frowned upon our kind. Mutants. A mistake common in our ranks, alas. I discussed it at length with my mentor. All are capable of doing good in this world. Genetic aberrations or not. How's a witcher fight a plague? I misspoke. Not the plague, its source. The Devil's Pit, this mine, has long been used as a... well, a place to sequester the hopelessly sick. An isolated haven for the afflicted. A den to die in. Believe those are the words you're looking for. I'm not proud to admit it. But how else is the Scarlet Fog to be withstood? Callous as your method is, there's sense in it. Undeniably. Unfortunately, mm, what's done is done. Now where do I fit in? Deep within the mine lies a salt cavern haunted. Someone, that is some thing, lurks there, so ancient records show. A spirit that breeds pestilence and whispers in the dark. Alas, a band of deserters has seized the pit. They butchered the afflicted. I was sent to urge their departure. Should they force open the mine's gate, descend into its depths... We'll have more than just Catriona to stop. Let me guess. Your warning. Deserters didn't take it to heart? If only. They slew my retinue. I alone escaped. Please, you must help. I've coin to offer. They must be dealt with. The bandits and this... This vile spirit. Already dealt with those deserters. Shouldn't be a problem, at least for now. Truly? Wh why splendid? Still, we'd be fools to delay. The mine will not remain shut forever. Could be this calls for a witcher, but I'll need more to go on. This spirit. Been in the mine long? Anyone actually seen it? I've seen but some of the records. Above my station, you see. As I recall, it appeared long past, after the first plague victims were brought here. The church attempted once to exorcise the ghost, but... Well, I'd like to see for myself what came of it. Not exactly generous with details, were they? No. Our wards recently reported hearing whispers in the night. Pleas for mercy, but ghostly. Strange. Altogether frightening. I'm afraid that's all I know. So be it. I'll help. And you wait for me here, coin in hand. Of course. Under the circumstances, I can't imagine how it might be better spent. Ah, the key. It unlocks the gate to the mine. Eternal fire guide you, Witcher. Yeah. Knock yourself out, Eternal Fire. Farewell. A note. Potion recipe. Brewed with celandine. Hmm. Should look for the places mentioned. Please, help me! Dwarven spirit. Celandine. Contents of chest. Must mean this chest. Got some celandine on me. Good thing. Other ingredients seem in decent condition. Something's not right. Medallion seething. Yeah. 
years. The spirit, a miasma, it's still here. It almost, it almost has control. Hurry! Reynold? Yes, but... My strength... Fading... The spirit... Taking control... I trapped us in here... The salt... Wondrous... Understand? It can't escape... Hmm... Let it into an apotropaic chamber organically carved into salt... Perfect for a specter... Clever. But I... I feel it in me, still. So long now. Found your letters... To Lambert. Was sorry to read he betrayed you. Can't help thinking the miasma would have bowed before the strength of two witchers. I was a fool. But what's past is past. Lambert, the snake, never deserved my trust. I'll be sure to pass the message along when I see him. Though your friend... Believe Osmond was his name. You dare mock me?! Uh, Osmond finally sent someone. Seems the gods remember this damned veil after all. And you... You have my thanks. I can't believe it. Gone. There were moments when I didn't know if I was me or the miasma. Maybe I was both. Maybe neither. No need for thanks. Should mention, though, wasn't Osmond who sent me. Priest of the Eternal Fire did. Who are you, exactly? Got a wolf's head medallion, but it's strange. Looks nothing like mine. Strange how. Designed and forged it myself, like all witchers at Kaer Morin. Quite the craftsman. Not me, though. Got mine from my mentor, like all witchers at Kaer Morin do. Must have been different in your day. Speaking of, when exactly did you arrive here in this mine? Hmm. That was... 900... 70... or no, 80. I... I can't recall. Damn memories are foggy. Fractured. Reynold, that's more than 300 years past. 300? No. No! They'd have sent another to find me after five. Ten at most. Osman himself would have come. Shit. My Asmal tried to impersonate a witcher earlier. You the real, Reynold? How can I be sure? Ask me something only a wolf could know. Come on, let's get this over with. Sure you're from the school of the wolf? Your armor. Can't say there's no resemblance, but the color? Studs, vertical stripes? Back at Kaer Morin, they'd always toss gear my way. Whatever you touch turns to gold, they'd say. This particular suit, I refined on the path. It's supposed to be a prototype for the whole school. Till my time ran out. On your own? No workshop? Missed your calling, sounds like. Could have made a name for yourself as a fine armorer, or at least a tailor. Osmond had ideas of his own, for improvements. Scribbled them down. We were gonna discuss them when we met at Kaer I'd like to believe you, really. Got any proof? Search my corpse. Left-hand pocket of the tunic. Diagrams are there. And yours to keep.
Need to make sure you'll find lasting peace. <laughs> Mean to prevent me from becoming what we hunt. Well, still got a matter I need to settle. Be a brother. Help me. Then I'll find peace. Could also cremate your body on a pyre as the guild ordains. You'd see me leave this world burdened with pain and regret. This is the fate you wish for me, Wolf Brother. A priest sent you, or so you said. Bring him here. I'd like a word for my peace of mind. So be it. But a few words, nothing more. Your tone. Understandable, but unwarranted. No bad intentions on my part. And even if there were, you'd be here to protect him, right? Fine. I'll get you the priest. I failed to fathom! How could they let this happen? The bodies, the blood, so much blood. I... I, I had no idea. Ray... Reynold... I know of the horror you suffered. I thought perhaps I could help. But how does one make amends for such a tragedy? A humble deacon like me. Deacon, Hierarch, you're all the same. Eternal Fire accepts two types into their fold. Criminals and hypocrites. Look at him. He's a child. What crimes has he committed? Forgot the verse of a hymn? Snuck a sweet roll while fasting? Believing the word of hypocrites, his sole transgression. This kid, this priest, treats witchers like humans. A rare specimen. More. An endangered species. Well, in fact, the Church holding mutants in low regard, it's an error, a misconception. Scripture states, um, respect and cherish every living creature. Hmm, respect for life is demonstrated here. Yes. As the prior says, he says, Oh, confound it. I've hung on their every word my whole life, but... But now, knowing of this travesty... The Church must protect the weak. Foster hope. Yet what I've witnessed here is... What shall I do? Where shall I go? Fantastic. A crisis of faith. You just weak, or is this real regret? Truths you've learned here. What'll you do with them? You're a hero. Prevented a catastrophe. Time to come to terms with your fate. What do you want? What do you need to do that? Ha! Ah, a hero. Used to care about the greater good. Young. Ambitious. The will to fight burns strong in me. Now... Now I'm just tired. Don't have the strength, no desire, to philosophize. And I won't rejoice about the world's salvation. Time took that from me. Don't need a church of your back to do good. Can do that on your own. Aye. True. So right, which, uh, witches. I shan't be returning to Novigrad. I'll stay here. Transform this place. Create a haven for the afflicted, true to its name. I enrolled at the seminary to serve folk, not the church. What am I doing? Resisted or read my asthma for centuries, damn it. Now I can't find the strength to forgive this boy. As if hatred kept me sane all these years. Maybe it did. But that was then. What matters is your choice now. Your sacrifice was not in vain, sir. The church is my home no more. 
This tomb I will transform into a sanctuary for the living, dedicated in your name, good witcher. Made a difference here, Reynold. For him and many more. <laughs> I'm sure another name would suit it better. I'm no saint, no miracle worker. Just a witcher. And I'd rather it stayed that way. We're done here. Time we were on our way. I must think. No. I know what I must do. Yet, to cast aside these twenty years, what I learned of the world. Here. Your reward, Witcher. Give my thanks for, uh, uh, for your help. Might not need to cast it all aside, not entirely. There was wisdom in some of what you recited. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps have yet to find the Eternal Fire's true light. Perhaps I must seek it elsewhere. Farewell, former deacon. And good luck with your search. When a humble bud graced a ride along with Geralt of Rivia, along came this song. When the white wolf fought a silver tongued devil, his army of elves and his hooves did they revel. They came after me with masterful deceit, broke down my loot, and they kicked in my teeth. While the devil's horns minced our tender meat, and so cried the witcher, he can't be bleed. Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh valley of plenty, O oh valley of plenty, oh. Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, valley of plenty. Blood him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, How tasty! Best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you, go away. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You looks like a witch yourself. The w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? 
No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny, eat a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, cos I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms. Does your grand treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right. But you gotta do something for us, too. You want something sweet. And me, too. Oh, fruits. Give us a treat. And we'll help you. Here's some treats. Yum. Never eaten nothing like this before in my life. Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagna in the arse. Gran! Come! Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said, not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This Strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. 
this the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Oh. Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. <laughs> So I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty, although they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, listen, I've a tale. You... it got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. 
Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad, though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Downwarren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Ladies of the Wood don't know what this power is? They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folk stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? 
Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? I abandoned my circle, where I kept the balance. The crones killed me, and cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circle in Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows. You must know the crones pretty well. They are Velen's curse. They hear all through severed ears. They weave hair and twist lives. They take their strength from the broth of human flesh. Crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly. A labyrinth of thee. The children, I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I come be a gale, a gallop unchained. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules. Open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape. A rite you must perform. With the black of raven feathers. The white of my bones. And the swift steed. A bear. Wild and free, in meadows pasture caught, dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these and bring them here. Ready, we can start. Let me fly, I raven wings. Lay bones amidst me the feathers. Place all beneath my heart. My heart you must pierce. I offer raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be free once more. I offer your remains. Once I was flesh. I shall be flesh once more. No, I should draw your blood now. Let the horse drink it. But I won't. I don't trust you. I have to stop you, destroy you. Betrayed! 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 Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Was something lurking there? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? I, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. <sighs> there is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors.
Captain, young man. He's even in a mirror in real life. Mm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression, for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Yes. So fortunate to have found so brave a knight, so able. Whose spirit was trapped in the tree? That of one who once cheated death. But she couldn't deceive you, brave knight. You've rid the world of a great evil. I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you? Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl, mousy blonde, that's what they call it. Thin as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn and selfish. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the Elder Blood. The soul seed that will burst into flame. She fell into our hands. No point in dawdling. The table's set. The cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Imlareth will get her. He will. But not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. <laughs> and plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! Oh. 
You'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if... The girl will die <laughs> seeing you and some light. <laughs> so very soon. I found her. Plowing hell, why did you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. All right, then. I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. Her things too. I found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him... Something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. 
She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now, as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. <laughs> You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. 
You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where? She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. <laughs> What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern, and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsemen's blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. Even got a jester. Aye, though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or well, maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. When a humble bar graced the ride along with Geralt of Rhee, along came this song. When the white wolf fought a silver tongued devil, his army of elves at his hooves did they revel. They came after me with masterful deceit, broke down my loot and they kicked in my teeth. While the devil's horns minced our tender meat, and so cried the witcher, he can't be bleed. <laughs> <laughs>